we're talking about class stereotypes. A data type is a classifier, similar to a class, whose instances are identified only by their value. In UML, we distinguish between the following data types. A simple data type, similar to the picture, in which all instances of that data type with the same value are considered to be equal instances, for example, date time or gender. A primitive type is a data type which represents atomic data values. That means values that have no parts or structure. That means boolean, integer, decimal, string, etc. An enumeration is a data type whose values are enumerated in a model as user-defined enumeration literals and can be shown using a class the classifier notation rectangle with a keyword enumeration. Stereotypes are formal, formal extensions of existing model elements in UML. The modeling element is directly influenced by the semantics defined by the extension. Rather than introducing a new model element to the, to the model, stereotypes add semantics to an existing model element. Several stereotypes can be used to clarify one single modeling element. Stereotypes can be added to attributes, operations and relationships and they can have attributes to store additional information. A stereotype is placed before or above the element name and is enclosed in gilmets. There are three types of stereotypes entity, boundary and control. We will be talking on about stereotypes from the perspective of a class stereotype. Entity classes, entity stereotype classes are almost certainly the ones that you are most familiar with. Entities are class objects representing the system data, just like tr customer transaction, card, etc. Boundaries are classes that interfere with system actors. Windows, screens and menus are examples of boundaries that interface with users. At this stage of the case study analysis, we don't know what the interface will, li will look like and possibly not even which programming language will be used, so this is not done in detail. A boundary is not a view. It's an element of the system that manages communication with elements outside the area under design, whichever this area might be. Boundaries are objects that interface with system actors, user interfaces, gateways and proxies. Controls are class objects that mediate between boundaries and entities. They orchestrate the execution of commands coming from the boundaries. It is important to understand that you may decide to implement controllers within your design as something other than classes. Many controllers are simple enough to be implemented as a method or an operation of an entity or a boundary class, for example. This is a stereotypes communication example. In stereotypes communication, actors can only talk to boundary objects. Boundary objects can only talk to controllers and actors, then entities can only talk to controllers and controllers can talk to boundaries and entities and to other controllers, but not to actors.